Hello, this is uh, your Monday morning devotional. The Wednesday night service and Bible study that uh, many congregations offer is as inconvenient a habit as you can have. You have to rush home from work and then rush through supper or delay supper until late. It plays havoc with uh, sports schedules. It's hard to tell the coach that you can't make Wednesday night games or practice. Uh, If you have kids, it means organizing them when they are tired and getting them to sleep past their bedtimes. There are probably other drawbacks if you think about it, but suffice to say that Wednesday night service is no picnic to attend on a regular basis. However, if you do make the effort, here are some of the benefits that you will receive. First of all, you get off the merry-go-round. One thing about church, it's unlike anything else you experience. When you come to church, you know, unlike the other places you might be, that you are absolutely welcome, and people are genuinely glad that you are here, and not because you may buy something. The objective here is to do good and think good, uh, speak good, and so there's no fear of ugliness or violence or sexual impurity. When you leave, you are usually better off than when you came. You have learned something, you got a hug or a smile, you made some important decisions. The world pushes you to perform at a dizzying pace and for a moment on Wednesday night, the focus is not on performance or perfection, but on people and peace. Secondly, you receive spiritual nourishment. Now, no one would think of going more than a day or two without food and water the body would not be able to function or fight disease. The spirit needs spiritual food also in order to remain strong and healthy, productive in keeping a person able to serve, able to resist sin, able to continue to believe so that they can remain united to Jesus. Our faith is our lifeline to Jesus and the word is what keeps that strong and secure. It's not just being here or punching in that's important. It is what we do here that is important. Some people ask, is it necessary to go to Wednesday night services? Well, the answer is no, it's not a command of God. But staying faithful is a command of God. And the spiritual exercises we do on Wednesday evening contribute immensely to remaining strong and vital spiritually. I believe that there is a relationship between strong faith, strong marriages, dynamic Christian living, and regular attendance on Wednesday nights. I rarely see one without the other. Number three, a chance to change. There is no one in your daily routine, whether it be your boss or teacher, co-worker, government official, or internet star, who will explain and encourage you to draw closer to God to believe in Jesus, to lay down your life for the Lord. But every Wednesday night, you are given a chance to make a new start because you can be sure that when you come here, you'll be encouraged to save your soul and receive forgiveness by repenting and being baptized. You'll also be asked to return to God and renew your Christian commitment if you've fallen away. You'll be offered the prayers of the church if you're sick or struggling with problems. You will be invited to join the congregation by placing membership. So you can see there is a lot in it for you every Wednesday night. So I encourage you to attend regularly. I'm Mike Mazzalongo for BibleTalk.tv. I pray that you have a blessed week and a great Bible study this Wednesday. Discussion questions number one. When did you start attending a midweek service at your church? Why? Number two, name one blessing you have received as a result of attending a midweek service. Number three, if you or a Christian you know doesn't attend midweek service, describe the reason why not. What would need to change in order to begin regular attendance?